Hello, and welcome back to Dwarf Fortress. I'm just gonna start now. Nobody will know that there were still some seconds left in there. Early start. Hello, Aeon. Goodness, you three are really quick on the draw today. <laughs> uh, this was uh, this was the street fortress. I said to myself I was gonna practice some magma stuff for an extreme. Uh, I didn't. <laughs> so we'll just have to figure it out as we go. If we even get to there, because I tend to get sidetracked in this game. Now in this case, I left myself a note that we were working currently on these bedrooms. So we were taking out their old stuff and we were putting in newer, nice stuff. Uh, so we need covers here. And I assume we did not have new covers or upgraded covers yet. No, these need to be improved still. Have a nice lurk, uh, Holly and Evil. Thank you once again very, very much for the resubscription. I really appreciate it. And um, please don't stay up too late. Uh, although I, I... I tend to get, like, or I'm starting to get uh, who's awake when mixed up. Because by now there's been a lot of people going by. <laughs> That's a lot of sleeping schedules to remember, but if I'm correct, you work night shifts. So for you, it's normal to be up this late. I hope. Last night I stayed until 4 a.m. I... No, don't. Don't do that, please. Like, make sure that you sleep in time. And we're going to remove all these unimproved beds. And then we're going to have them be improved. We're going to also Im remove all these unimproved covers. These cabinets are fine. I'm gonna go down here and I think I'm gonna add another decorate with shell workshop. Although I do have three going now. Uh, oh, this one used to be one decorate with shell too because I don't have any general work order. So let's just add this to the list. So we take from there and there and we give to there. Decorate. Uh, no, 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 no. There. Hold up. Why? Why are we improving gloves? Oh no, we we created good gloves. I was like, wait, hold up. <laughs> No, they're just got different time zone sleep schedule. Well, now, if you stay up to the middle of the night, I assume that's in your own time zone. Last week, I worked night yard shift the whole seven days, so I still try to adjust back to my swing shift. Oh, I see. So I was... I did remember correctly that you do have a night shift schedule, partly at least. Having a swing shift schedule seems like it's... kind of unpleasant, too. Like, you'd have to keep readjusting to when you... Um, like when you'll wake up. Sorry, that took me a moment to find the words. Yeah, the reason I like swing and night shift is that uh, I ain't get to deal with nobody. That's fair. I, I I can I can understand that just being like, because <laughs> yeah, you, you wouldn't have to deal with anyone. You'd just be like, well, this is the 
everyone else is asleep. So no need for me to <laughs> worry about it. Okay, hold up. So this is smooth that. Can we detail it whilst the bed is on top? Yes, we can. Okay. Uh, oh, uh, remove that because we want that to be done by masterworks first. Then and we're just gonna oh, go select this again and then place down the date palm. Hello, Lunas Linus. Thank you for the lurk. Have a good ha, a good look at, at, at work yourself. Did I say work or lurk just now? Any case, thank you and good luck. You're all going to be a uh, smidge unhappy because of course they currently don't have any beds or furniture. And we'll fix that in a moment. They're just gonna wait a moment. And these guys gotta hurry up a little. Of course, I could technically make it go faster if I store some of the items one down, but they should be pretty quick with grabbing stuff and such. Although I would have expected more guys to be decorating right now. I have a lot of bone carving guys and I'm pretty sure this counts. Don't it? Okay, you are, you know, you're holding right now. You're decorating the shell. You're a bone carver. Of course, the one downside is that um, everyone I have selected here won't do a very good job. I, I really wish I could set like some non-important jobs as bone carvers, like. I, I just want to set them as, okay, make arrows for me. Of course, technically I could have all of these linked to certain workers. I could do that temporarily at least. So let's see, you get this one. You got that one. You got that one. And I don't want a weaver, I want a bone carver. Pretty sure you will be busy. Yeah, you get that one. Because the idea is that the other guys that don't do, like, uh, that aren't good at, at their job at bone carving, just make bone crafts because they need to have something to make. Or, well, do it with shell, of course.
Hey, we got a name for a silver warhammer. But yeah, I wish I could set them... Because dwarves get unhappy, most of them, if they don't always craft something. Which is a little bit annoying, because I prefer if I could just have my best craft people in one job. Like, I don't need a hundred bone carvers, I just want like... About six of them. Maybe a little more, like eight of them that are really good. And only have those eight working. But I don't really have any other task and I'm like, eh, it doesn't matter if they don't, they aren't good at it. Because I could have them all make coal, but I'm pretty sure that doesn't count as like making an object. Okay, but I just have six people to keep like happy that needs to do something that they aren't skilled at, then I could snag them, but I have mainly like a lot of people that aren't skilled at something that I want them to do something better at. It's honestly rather like annoying. Of course you could just forgo that and have some dwarves be very unhappy, but I kind of don't want that. Like how most of them demand to have martial training, whilst I'm like, I don't want all of you to be soldiers. Like, at all. We'll put the basalt covers here, and we'll put granite covers here. This one needs improving. No, oh, we only have basalt. Were we gonna make granite ones? Maybe we'll switch some of these out for basalt. Because it'll be more coherent in color. Because the. Yeah. Why not? This is entirely unnecessary, and I am aware, but I, I want to. Some of these have not been improved very well, so I, I might just ditch those. No, maybe they'll be fine. We are gonna try to have the, like, must work engravers engrave all these, so that should bring the rooms up in value. To the Atom Smasher with your crappy cabinet. Ooh, now that's actually a good idea. We do have an Atom Smasher now. Like, just forgo selling it, just Atom Smash it and be rid of them. You know what? You have a good point. I like your thinking. <laughs> yeah, so this one is improved but not really good and this one is improved and not really good. Same with this one. That one.
Well, I should double check that I got the right spot as my thumb. Yep. This one I do like how it was improved. And then I need to get some granite cabinets here. We don't like this one. That one is just a. Eh. So what we're going to do is we're going to let's see. That one isn't really that good. And that one is kind of crappy. Yeah, we got beds, we got people very hurriedly trying to move all the clothes away and then putting them probably back into their, their uh, cabinet soon. Like, gosh dang it. That one and that one. Let's see, so we got everything here, we got everything here. We are missing a granite cover here. Let me go there. This one is actually not improved much, but we don't have any more granites. We do have two basalts, but what I might do is I might there just make some extra twinkled cabinets in all the places here. We got Coffers in all except here and here. Then up here we uh, need new cabinets. So that's where the basalt ones go. this level I did have everything improved before I put it down. So these guys are getting their cabinets back. We didn't switch any others around. And then here we still need two coffers. And we just made a couple extra in case we want them for something. do is ask for just a minimum of quality. So not the super low 
like in starting ones don't even get put there. What are you doing? You're okay, yeah, we were still training you to be a great boy here. up with bone instead of wood because we have a lot of bones. I'm not sure we're gonna improve all of these. It's gonna be a lot of work to switch it around. Is this your room? It is. What do you think of your room? Wait, fine quarters, great bed. What? You don't get to have double rooms, buddy. How about you? You don't have any. And you... have find quarters here. Okay, so bedroom like a personal palace and consider fine quarters. So the fine quarters is good enough. But once we're storing his stuff and he was for sleeping again. Yeah, no, he doesn't get double rooms. It's only for the nobility. Stuff like. How are my engravers doing? Oh, we got one legendary engraver now. So you don't need to practice no more. So we're gonna pull you off because this one is also legendary. And then we're gonna keep training the other ones because we want them all to be legendary. Uh, where was I training them? Oh yeah, I was training them in the... I was gonna train them here. I think actually they finished here, so... Yeah, I was gonna just smooth this place and have them train on that and uh, maybe get some of the minerals So maybe have it easier for them to move around here. Yeah, that is smooth, but not detailed. That is detailed, so we can't break through there. They'll be very unhappy if I do that. That's why they haven't done this, because they can't even get there. <laughs> they can't technically get here. They go around, but they can't get there. Hmm... 
Yeah, we detailed that too. But we can do I want them to be able to go around. It won't be even, but then again we're not gonna look here. Lots of them is gonna have them mine this one. But they can at least go down. continue training our engravers oh we got a possession uh, i'm pretty sure we already have interrogated me map oh wait hold up it's did we did we get it did we get robbed like recently hold up what in case we have a certain me map that I think we probably interrogated before, but yeah. Hold up. Intelligence. Thoughts. Infiltrate, we have thefts. The plane. I think it's so well that he can schedule an interrogation with the dead. It's like a seance and asking them if they did it. Uh, I'm not sure they actually... It's. I think partly you can uh, blame someone who's dead. So you can be like, hey, this is the person who did it. Because sometimes someone commits a crime and then they die. And you should still be able to say, hey, this was the culprit. Uh, or like say, hey, this is the culprit. He's dead, so I can't do anything anymore. And like actually leave someone else off the hook so they don't get punished. But yeah, you can also interrogate them. Um, can we? I wanna. I wanna know more detail. Can I have more? I know. I need to find the right interrogation report then. Yeah, so Fuck Arab is a human criminal uh, admitted that they have an alias and an unidentified creature plotted to steal the thing and that's why we have now an open case because that was recently revealed to us even though it happened a while ago. In which case, I also would like to... Oh. Oh, they left. We released them. <laughs> they, they served their time, apparently. Let's interrogate them on this specific crime. I think if you just interrogate them with any crime, they'll ad admit stuff. Like, it doesn't have to be that specific one. But I'm not sure. Because they tend to, once they admit, they admit to everything. I really wish I could have tabs, like, to go through on top from these guys. Like, okay, an animal tab and a... Oh, no, 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 no. That's the wrong one. I think I just interrogated a body. Or said to interrogate a body, yeah. I want this one and I'm gonna and like a our people tab and a visitors tab and a dead people tab and maybe a name search that would also be nice uh, somewhere here yes do not interrogate the body please aren't all your artifacts locked up I mean something could still get in there and pull the lever could pick up I, yeah now they are but in the beginning they weren't 
And as long as they have access to it, they'll um, people will go plot to steal it. And the only reason, like currently, they can steal artifacts. They cannot overthrow your government, even though there will be plots for it. Um, but it's mainly that you don't like. In my case, I don't want my dwarves to be corrupted. Because they'll corrupt your dwarves. They'll they'll like convince them to help with their plots, and I don't want that. I don't want my dwarves to like start lying and cheating against each other because I don't think that would end up well I think I, I, I think that would go bad there a nice granite cover and we have all the bedrooms done and then you have a great bedroom. Okay. Uh, and I want... Okay. There, this place. More practice. And then we're going to go down to our workshops, uh, which is this button. And we're going to pull you from here. I'll allow general work orders again, and I'm going to make this general again, and we're going to pull you and you so these can all do whatever and you'll all keep for now. And you, strange mood. Oh, oh, he's just gonna make a rough, like a garnet gem then, because he only grabbed one thing. I'm gonna have. Hey, we got a name for a Warhammer. I right, go and I have them engrave all this. And then they should be good. Oh, Y'all want martial trade. Do I have the flight therapy? Currently, I assume aren't trading anywhere. Uh, steamed arrow. It says two squads, but I only see one. Well, I'm gonna have the therapies train here, and I'm gonna set this schedule. Gonna just move these a little down. So that they'll actually get the training. So they'll be happy. And then this one. I need a leader before I can assign people. I need to find people that want martial training. Like you. You want martial training and you want to wander. So we'll add you to plant gatherers for the wander need. And I'll add you to uh, a 
Okay, you deal. I wish I could just go to the dwarf staff and assign them to a squad from there because it's gonna be really tricky to find him back in the squad area. Um, I'm gonna. Luckily, you're near the top. Oh, you're pretty heavy in your training duties. We're gonna ease that. And then... you want martial training? Dope. You want martial training? Irish. He... Hirosh. You want martial training? Fukar. Fukar. I really wish that they wouldn't want that. Like, because I don't actually want them to be in squads. Because they'll be counted, like, if you try and, and limit people to a certain area, you have, like, a difference between soldiers and um, civilians, and they will be counted as soldiers, because, of course, they're in squads. But they're not actually soldiers, because I don't actually give them martial training, like, not proper, I don't have them walking around with weapons. I don't want them to be seen by the game as fighters, but if I don't occasionally, like, them in martial training then they'll get unhappy so either i keep them in the therapy squads and occasionally train them which would make it easier so hello Nisette. um oh i i missed some stuff my bad um i think so well you can schedule an interrogation with dead i did read that damn you'll just been your crimes on one guy <laughs> like pressure just christianity and artifacts civil war Hi Luna, uh, one of my doors just wrote a biography about a goat. They do tend to do that. Also, welcome to the stream, you chiller whale. Yeah, they, they write some interesting stuff. I like the goat biography though. Wait, hold up. A biography? Isn't that writing about yourself though? No, no, wait. That is a, that is a different name. I know loyalty cascades are a thing, but I don't think that can be done intentionally by an NPCs. Good morning, Luna. How are you doing? Today? Today. Hello Nisset, I'm doing okay. I'm just trying to keep my dwarves happy by occasionally giving them martial training and complaining about it. <laughs> I wish not every dwarf needed martial training. Or near every dwarf. It'd be very nice if they didn't. Hey, I wish not every single dwarf needed to craft an object. Because I want my best crafters to be crafting specific objects. But I can't have that. You can have your wonder need fulfilled by putting you into plant gather. Some rack ones, some fighties. Also, a search function would be nice, like either like selecting from the dwarf itself or search function or like bones would be, would be really swell. Would make this a lot easier. I should look into dwarf therapists because apparently that helps with this stuff.
I just haven't really looked into it. I I must have scrolled over him multiple times now. Or he is already in a squad. I did not check for that. No, there you are. Stasi, the weaponsmith, he definitely wants you to be happy. So. Z -z -z -z. Sorry, went to the bathroom and then grab my coffee, but I'm glad you're doing okay. That's okay. I I hope you're doing well yourself. You also want to wander, so I'll get you a plant gatherer. Lolor is already in therapy. Litas is not. Yeah, I wish I could satisfy their need for martial training some other way without needing to put them all in squads basically and occasionally have them train because then the game will see them as soldiers and I don't want them to be that and I honestly rather have them focus on other things. I'm a little bit tired but apart from that I'm good. I'm glad to hear that you're Good, and I hope the tiredness, like, I hope you get some rest and, and feel better soon. I definitely scrolled over. The, the, also, I'm noticing that some people don't have a task, so we need to go to the task list and give them stuff to do. Or more like assign them to stuff so they can craft objects so they don't get super unhappy, because... Almost neither kind of demanding. I don't think this is the right Lee last, is it? We have a miner, we have a grape, but I believe it was a different guy. There it is, presser. Uh, you're not in a squad. squad. Uh, you want martial training. So, let's see. Uh... Last gem cutter. They do have like a very standout color, which is nice in this case because I can more easily find them. I'm gonna drink my coffee now and shiny hunt some Pokemon sword while watching the stream. Oh, nice! Let me know if you find any shinies. I wish you all the shiny luck. Oh yeah, and then we were gonna check our um Okay, so we have a bone carver, so that one is easy. That one we just there. Thank you, and of course I will. Nice. We definitely got enough farm hands. I honestly don't want too many more wood stones because then the skilled people get like it, it'll it'll get too watered down so then we have a lot of not so very skilled people you have a crutch against the newer Pokemon, uh, Holy Nevil? I heard a lot of good things about it. Pokemon as a bike looks stupid. Uh, I suppose. The people that I've seen played were actually quite happy with it. But 
I, I suppose the design is kind of out there. I can see why that would turn you off. What's your favorite Pokemon edition, chat? Oh, that's a good question. Yellow. So, like, old school. I did always really like yellow as a kid. I, I, my uh, father, like, at some point, I, like, the Game Boy had been out for a while. He bought, I think, on, like, the, a similar site, but then Dutch from eBay, he just bought, like, uh, old Game Boys and old games from someone else. So, they had the old saves on it, too. Um... Scarlet slash Violet, Violet the Bun. Um, but, so I had red, blue, and yellow on the Game Boy Color. And I absolutely adored that a yellow Pikachu was following you around. Like, that made me so happy. I didn't, I could, couldn't could read any English. So I was completely lost. Uh, but I noticed that I got further in the game depending on which starter I chose. Because, of course, like the first gyms or something, like I did figure like slightly out what to do or I think maybe some things my parents translated for me and then I just went when I like realized okay I need to bring the bar down but I didn't know typing because again I couldn't read English so any complexities were completely lost on me so I only noticed that hey some attacks do more damage and if I take certain Pokemon I get further because then the not gym I'll get further but then I never got like, I don't think I ever got past, like, the second gym. Maybe I got just past the second. I know in one of them, I had trained up a Beedrill. I was, <laughs> I was still, like, not past the second gym. I couldn't get past it, but I did have a Beedrill because I was like, okay, but just grind. Maybe I'll get strong enough. I did not. I only remember it because I showed someone and they were like, wait, you have a Beedrill? <laughs> They remarked upon it, like, wait, what? Okay, I have a lot of people that do not do any crafting. Like, haven't done any crafting yet, that probably want to craft. Hmm... But I generally pr probably just want them to hold. The thing is, they'll get unhappy if they, that's all they do. Actually, let's just be cheeky. Let's just look up what tasks uh, give the uh, made, make an object one thing. This game reminds me of another game. Can't remember what it's called, though. Hmm. Uh, Rimworld, maybe? That one usually comes to mind. I'm gonna I'm gonna Google it. So uh, dwarf fortress uh craft objects me Rimworld yes Wait, hold up. You can set workshop to minimum skill level? Where? Doesn't... Someone said that you can, but... I don't see how. Uh, hello, Niemst! Welcome to the stream! Um, either Rimworld or Prison Architect. Prison Architect is another game that I played so much of. I never on stream though, but I absolutely love that game. Um, I, I have a thing for, I guess, colony management kind of games. I tried this game for 30 minutes and refunded. I am too old for complex games. Yet yeah, Dwarf Fortress is a game that you need to learn with the wiki page open. Or in this case, there's YouTube videos. Um, 
but yeah, it's it's a commitment, and it's you need to be willing to make that commitment. It's very fun, but if it's not your type of game, like your type of learning, then this is immediately going into the deep end. Uh, also, have a nice lurk. I'm quite old one, turning 36. I mean, that's only old in internet terms. Like, I'm I'm pretty sure, like in of like outside of the internet, most people would not consider that too old. Um. Okay, so it's a tip for meeting common needs. Um, once a year when a caravan comes, disable most labors and allow all dwarves to hold to slash from the depot. They also just acquire object, take ownership. Um, then let your idle dwarves congregate in the taverns. They'll socialize. I guess that could work. I'm not feeling that old though, so that's good at least. That's good. Okay, any item, finished goods. Crust. Um, goblets, instruments, toys, totems, large gems. So most of them crafts work first work workshop hmm so bone shell horn ivory and pearl are all under bone carving clothes making crafts in uh, crafts from cloth is in crafts toward leather working what does leather working all do it's Used to make all of the leather goods out of leather works. Okay. So that isn't just leather works. Like, cause I want a. Hmm. I mean, you kind of have a mental age and a physical age. Even though the physical age is old, your mental age might not be. Yeah. Okay, so wood crafting is separate from carpenting. And it's for... Hmm, maybe I could put them on wood crafting then. Maybe I could make a... So currently I have wood stone. Under that is wood crafting. But if I remove wood crafting from it, and maybe also engineering, so I'll make an engineer one and I'll keep boonstone as masonry, stone crafting, carpentry, and crossbow making. And I'll make a new one. I'll call this one. Mechanics. Uh, I'll take you out of here. And you'll stay. And then I'm gonna make another new one. And I'll have that just be wood crafting. Did we find magma yet? No, we did not find magma yet. We're <laughs> first we're shuffling around our task bills because I want 
like low skilled dwarves to still be able to make objects because they need not to be happy. But of course, I don't want my objects to be like some of them. I need to be actually high quality. So then I need them. Like basically, I wish I could just set certain tasks to be like, hey, I want you to be at least this skill before you do it. Whilst other tasks, like I wish I could just split up bone work. I'm like, hey, any low skilled bone worker is allowed to make bone arrows and shell rings. But if I want them to improve an object, I don't want the low skill to do that. I use bone crafting for that. Yeah, same. But for one, most of my, I have so many bone carvers that most of them didn't even get the chance to do stuff. And sometimes I want them to actually like be good at it. Of course, then I can have a thingy selected, but it, it's hard. Um, and I might need to split it up a little more. Uh, I could even split this up between wood and stone. Why is there so many of them dabbling in wood carving? Do I have wood carving under craft work too? I do not. Hold up, you, Ubel, is a legendary stone crafter. You have two ones, so you're also under wood stone. I wish I could give it separate, like, little images. I might remove you because I want you to focus on the other one. Uh, you could work out around wood stone crafting by assigning the workshop to dwarves so there will be one set for masters and one set for hobby crafting and dump all results that have poor quality yeah it's mainly when i'm like oh i want these furniture items to be improved um i mainly i i just don't want to have to constantly switch things around I'll get you trained up and you trained up in that because you guys don't have anything else to do. And then I'll probably actually remove making wooden barrels because wooden jugs, I believe, actually uh, behave very similarly. And then my carpenter doesn't need to worry about that. Or I, of course, could just have stone pots. Then I will... So this decorated shell, I will keep my master worker on there. Um, I'll call this... I'll name them so I know which ones are piloted by a master worker. I really, I, in Rimworld, Rimworld, when you like set um, tasks, you can set what minimum level they have to be before they can perform that. I could use that in Dwarf Fortress. That would be nice because then I could just have my workshops be open because when there's 200 dwarves, it gets a little annoying to have to um, separate which dwarves can do what. I'd much rather separate which task can be done by what kind of dwarf. Um. 
I think I'd rather have rock pots. Am I making rock pots right now? Also would like a way of organizing this a little. Okay, yeah, I'm making granite pots. Oh, wait, hold up. He made a clear garnet animal trap. Okay, I, I thought he'd just make a big gem, but we, he made a gem animal trap, which that's kind of impressive. We'll put it like next to the other animal trap we have. Also, we seem to have some animals that are not in here. There we go. It'd be a fairly small animal trap. It's for catching fancy fleas. Yes, it's for the flea circus. this right now. I wish I could pause the thing, but we cannot. And currently we don't have anything to decorate. Also, we probably want to release the human. Just we don't need him locked up forever. <laughs> That's kind of mean. Actually, can we... No, we can't check from here what he has on him, but we can... Uh, from here. Oh no, he's crying. Oh no. I'm sorry. We're we're gonna we're gonna release them from the cage. They're just gonna run away. Actually, did we interrogate them yet? No information. No information. Well, if it wasn't, then Jitter, he wouldn't be having a... Su yeah, I mean, if he didn't break the law. Also, they're dancing. Oh, they're chanting? Performing dance. I want to know which dance. Let me... Tell me which dance. Like, yeah, dancing. Where are you? Detail, store... Where is it? Banger, yeah, I love this music. dance they're performing I can see what song they're singing is this music from a game? yes it's amazing it only plays in very specific occasions when they're dancing and here so Some people are watching and some people are chanting and singing. I love this. Can I see? 
I guess no. But look at them dancing. It makes me so happy whenever they dance. <laughs> The song is called Drink and Industry. Yeah, and I actually, I uh, was linked a video of it where they put the translation under it. Like, because they're singing this in Dwarfish. A proper Dwarfish that has translation to English. Or like, our language. Which I think is just really cool commitment. Like, they wrote a song with Dwarfish lyrics. And Taboo and Simon Sir. Yeah, you can actually, when you pause... It'll tell you which track it was and who made it. It's amazing. I love that I did that. Um, I completely forgot what I was doing. Oh, I say I used just ask. <laughs> hey, that works too. Um, I was trying to see if we had interrogated him yet. So, let's see, did we end up interrogate? Yes, we, we did interview. And our intelligence... Okay, hold up. What is her secret in identity? Should be able to see it somewhere here. We recently, okay, Pak is also known as Ghanul, that's the one we have. And did we recently interrogate? It doesn't say we did. But it, here it says we did interrogate them, so... So I think what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to release this for human like so. Also, how do you mean unpowered? We have power. Check out our engraver training. Okay, they're still busy with that. Uh, you have been placed down, which means we're gonna pull the lever and lock all this. We don't want them to move it. And we want to go down. So what we're gonna do is go down. Oh, this is as far as we can go? Really? We're really deep down. And then from here... I don't want to do it in a 3x3 three three anymore, but I haven't found a good way of uh, doing it in a cross pattern without having to do each there separately. Uh, at least I found if I at do like the um the, the dig command first then they then I they will go down because uh, I don't want to like then block off the stairs. Um so that's at least nice, but we'll go down. Down 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 the hatch. Um 
And I want to actually check. I need to check which metal is magma safe. Because if we want to bring metal uh, magma up, we need, of course, a magma safe uh, item. So. But this is only for stone use. Can I. Is bronze magma safe? Can I check that somewhere? Will it tell me? He must have some prompt here. Can I? Okay, I need to look this up. Google to the rescue. I know you guys won't see this, but it'll be quick. Dwarf. Fortress. Magma. Save. Metal. Uh... Okay, iron it says, but how about bronze? Like, is bronze fine? Okay, hold up, we have metal here. We have adamantite, iron, nickel, big iron, platinum, steel, divine metal. Divine metal we're not gonna get. It doesn't say bronze, so I assume bronze is not magma safe. Um... Basalt is... is granite? Ooh, granite is not on this list. Oh, but glass is. Glass is magma safe. That's good to know. Uh, okay, so hold up. Granite... Is not. Okay. So we need to... If we want to pump uh, magma up, which we are, like, for magma forges, which we would probably want, like, under here. Like, we'd want the magma here and we'd want magma forges here. Um, we'll need stuff. Like, we'll need magma safe materials. So we'll need to make rock blocks. Out of a magma safe rock. Which we need to have a look. So we could make it out of basalt. Potentially. Uh, what else do we have a lot of that is magma safe? We have quite a lot of cobaltite. In. Dust sites. Our cobaltite and. Uh, no not that one. Back back. Oh, he, he's thinking. Let's see. The last side is not. How about... Okay, Olivine is. Mica is. Cobaltite is not. Okay. Uh, oh, we have a fair amount of Gabbro. And Ga Gabbro was magma safe, wasn't it? Double check. Don't use. Yeah, Gabbro is fine. Good. And then we want that. Want glass pipe segments. What are they called? Are they all called pipes? What is a portal? Oh, would that be a door?
tube. It's called tubes when it's made out of glass. So green glass tubes, and we'd like. We'll just make ten of them. And can we make glass screws? Yes. So we'll make ten of those. We'll start with that. Oh, and we'll need to make magma safe mechanisms too. Look. Well, what can we make mechanisms out of? Can we? I don't think we want to make them out of glass, but it's good to check. And rock and metals. So we're going to make it out of rock and we are going to need to use Gabro. And then we'll probably want at least a couple rock doors that are made out of Gabro too. Oh. Oh, we've struck lapis lazuli. I'll see. Uh-oh. Okay, we found another cavern. You have discovered an unusual volcanic wall studded with gems. Okay, so we discovered a cavern and we discovered an unusual uh, volcanic wall studded with gems. Uh, wait, where is that? Okay. Oh, there, that's a lot of hot hots. We were just above this the entire time and we didn't even know. I mean, it tracks because we're pretty deep down, but... Um... Okay. Do we have any new creatures? Not at the moment. Okay. Interesting. So we have some stuff that we're familiar with, like the blood trunk and the spore tree, but the nether camp, that's bonus new, that's a new type of wood. So what I am thinking of doing... Okay, so this is safe, safe, safe. This is open. This we don't know. So we definitely, we want to close this off. We want to... Uh, like, make sure that we're good. So what I think I'm going to do... We have roof here. Here. I'm going to give myself a little space. So we're going to put a wall there. And we're going to put a wall there. And... We'll put... A wall there. And... There. And then this will be saved. And then we have a little bit of space to make like a, a drawbridge or something if we want to access the cavern. Okay. And there were crundles here at some point. We also got a mix of different kinds of cave mosses. So that's interesting. Oh, no, no, no. What are you doing? What, what are you doing? Okay, that's good. You're constructing a building, but what are you doing? Where are you going? Uh, suspend this for a second. What, what are you doing? And what are you doing? Clean. Really proud or you don't? I'm gonna like allow oh, this needs to be in there.
we're gonna tell people to get back inside, but I need to make sure that they can access all the places they need to be accessing. We haven't expanded this in a while, so... Okay. This too. Then I want like, everyone in there, and I'm going to turn this on, and then I'm gonna get a bunch of cancellations. And I'm gonna pause it so they can do this, and they'll be safely inside here. Yeah, bunch of stuff inaccessible. What are you doing? Don't go. Don't no going outside. No going go. There. And now they won't go wandering off. Actually, do I have... Okay, nothing of the other ones are on, so they're all... It's like getting children to stay in the front yard. <laughs> yeah. Like, I really wish they wouldn't run off into danger as much. I, I wish I could keep, like... I have a better way of... Stopping them from heading out without having to select or deselect the whole map. To, like, hey, this is okay to go and this is not okay to go. Because that's a lot of work, because of the amount of Z-levels you have. Uh, I just wish I could be like, hey, okay, the uh, monsters, uh, hunters can go out and have some kind of secure in and out system. Um, but I haven't found a way. Like, it's just, I got, a, I got my, to lock my dwarves up inside my fortress. So that I don't go running out um, at all times to collect... For one, the amount of bodies. Like, even if I deselect the bodies being collected. Which I don't want to do completely, because then they sometimes also don't do it, like, inside. But even if I say, like, hey, don't collect these guys, then they'll still go out to collect webs, and they'll get themselves in danger. Yeah, I don't... I don't think that would work, that kind of learning. That would be neat if they could, but I don't think that would work. Um... Like, I'm fine with having to micromanage it a little, but I don't have any tools to do so except, okay, you all have to be locked inside now. Because um, I also, I can't really find a good way of using zones, because usually that leads to a lot of job cancellations. Because I need to either select a lot of stuff or, or save area if the one is visited often. Yeah. I, I would like a some form of... Um, like, allow passage and don't allow passage. Like, hey, you can pass uh, across this point, but only if you're a soldier. Or only if you're a monster hunter. And also a way of actually securing that passage so monsters don't just come in droves inside. Like, bad bedroom, tavern bad. Oh, it probably wouldn't, but... It reinforced like, oh, they'll get hurt and then will be a valuable lesson kind of thing. Yeah. Also, one thing I, I wish it didn't do is, like, now there's going to be the uh, color of the moss from down here is going to spread to up here. And I really wish it didn't, because I like the green. <laughs> but now it's going to be all muddled. <laughs> but the moment you open it up, it'll start to spread. I mean, heck, the... Uh, all their cave moss has spread down there already. Oh, need Gabriel and Link stop file. Uh, that is for my bad. For you, ain't it? Uh, 
Uh, I'm gonna... So this would be quantum stone one. Well, you'll take from here too. Yeah, this is secure. Right, I need to just make sure. And we seem to have a lot of warm stone here. So this is warm, so either there's like lava right here or magma right there. Uh, oh, oh, we got a cancellation there, didn't we? Is that like, nope. We're not going down there. Okay, uh, let's stop that then. So they said nope going down there. That is interesting, so they'll... I don't actually know how to go down. Like, I'm not sure what will happen. Oh, not so big. So let's check on uh, oh, this way. Okay, they're still training. And then let's check on our people that needed martial training. Okay, you guys are still wanting martial training. Because it is now... Oh, no, actually wrong. No, okay. This one, schedule. You are, okay, on month two of your training. Um, you seem to have gotten your martial training. You still want to fight, uh, but you got your stuff. You still want martial training. You're, oh, but you're therapy one. You're therapy two, and you still want. So we'll leave them to it, and then we'll take them off. Gonna make a little walkway, I guess. Or maybe I want it on this side. Say we want magma, like for our furnaces, then it would be on this side. So maybe we'll make our exploratory thingy to this side. Or maybe that'll get in the way. What if we go up here? I know I'm changing my mind a lot, but... I don't know how to work with magma yet. I haven't looked up how to deal with finding it. Like, they won't go down. 
And if I try and make them go down again, then we'll actually, they'll mine into magma and I don't think that's what we want. So if we try it again, then they'll warn me. Again. So I'm just going to ask them to mine down and then they're going to warn me again. Oh, warm stone located. Digging cancelled. Okay. There. Well, we're going to put a Gabro door down there. First and foremost. And then... I don't really know. Like, on... If it's warm stone, that means there's magma. Like, right next to it. So either there's magma around or there's magma like right down there, which means I don't exactly know if it's safe to go down. You know what we're, what we're gonna do? It's gonna save and continue. Just just in case things go very bad, we can go back. Because I'm not quite ready to say bye to this warden yet. actually going to double up on the security i'm gonna put the door there and i'm gonna put the door there and then i'm gonna tell them to go dig down and hopefully not die it's kind of crazy so these two caverns were super close together like really flipping close together Another Gavro door down there. Yeah, I, 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 I kind of wish the uh, moss kinds wouldn't spread between layers, because it's it ends up being kind of an eyesore. At least to me. Like, I, I don't want purple with my greens. Oh, oh, alert. Oh, it's the caravan. Okay, I got worried for a second. Uh, so, we're gonna go to our... Here. And then we're gonna move goods. All the old stuff. Um... A bunch of those guys. A lot of old iron stuff that we might want to sell. Although we haven't gone completely into steel yet. It's new. That's new. We will sell some of the totems. So we made a lot of those. We can't sell those to the elves. The elves will be like, this is made out of a skull. This is made out of dead animals. How could you? The horror. And um, we might want to sell some of these because we have a lot of them. And these guys, and these guys. It was ethically sourced drop and light skull. It was scavenged from the remains after it was attacked by a forgotten beast. Ah, I don't think the elves care much. Like, it doesn't matter where you got it from. Heck, I would still argue that if they're gonna... Like... 
because troglodytes will attack and elves will defend themselves, might as well like use all the bones, all the stuff, or if you like slaughter an animal for food, might as well use everything. Like, so otherwise it's just wasteful. Like, disrespectful towards the thing you just killed. Like, yeah, um, for ethical reasons, I won't actually use all of your remains because... Eh? No, we definitely want to sell all these because these are the, the lower quality ones. We just also have a lot of high quality ones. I still don't know what nervous systems are used for from slaughtered animals. I don't think it'd be edible. I think that's just stuff that is not useful. I haven't found a use for it either. The slaughtered animals will just sometimes give like stuff that you don't need. Like it also occasionally gives like cartilage. I don't think you can use cartilage for anything either. Like it's just so some of the stuff you get back in this game is just uh not usable. Oh, look, a cave crocodile totem is worth kind of something, but not enough that I would be like, hey, I'm gonna put it on display for like a lot of value. Oh, it's literally useless. Yeah, it just rots away and causes a stink. From what I've seen. We're gonna sell like most of our totems. Because they're just taking up space. I do like that you can actually make them in something to like more valuable though. It's kind of nice. I was already wondering why skulls was like a separate thing. So a lot of things to go through. If there's ever a mod for selecting all old clothing or old stuff, like worn stuff to sell, then do let me know. Uh, this is also all low quality bows. I will be selling those. Because I know I'll have to start a new save, but eventually that'll happen. And if I don't have... Wait, don't we have any... Hold up. Why didn't I see any worn clothing in, in there? We should have had worn stuff. Do we have worn and new stuff mixed or... What's going on? Let me hold up. We'll sell all the ones that, like, these are technically nicely improved, but they started out very low quality, so we'll sell some of them. And we can't give them to the elves because they were improved with shells. Eventually something fun will happen and the fort will expire and you'll reach a point where you want to start over because this fort is doing well. Yeah, exactly. Like, eventually I will start over and then if I already know, like, um what kind of like mods like modifications i might want to like make my life a little easier next time uh that'd be nice <laughs> Surely you can make a battle slash domestic at the Elmo so you can start it then. It's not really hard to make a mod like that. Well, I don't know how to make a mod mods in this game. Um, I The first thing I should look into is dwarf therapists and uh, dwarf hacks just to um, make my own life a little easier. Um, I don't want a hack, but I believe DF hack also just has quality of life stuff. 
So I was continually complaining about equipment mis mismatch. Who, whom, whom are you and what is mismatching? I think it's from the crossbow. It's, is it you? It was a Likolt. Yeah, it's you. So you're missing pants. Oh no, steel greaves. I think that might just be because we don't have them. Um, well, like animal creature mods where it's adding tags, it's actually really easy because it's just creating a text file and a couple of folders. I see. Well, the thing is, I'd also want to like eventually be able to easily undo the mod. So if I add my own text files and folders, I'd need to make sure I have backups or something. I'll, I'll just need to look into it because I don't know what I'm doing. Also, we are going to go down and see what happens because I have no clue how it works. You can go back if it goes horribly wrong. Actually, I'm gonna... Uh, save now. So I don't have to redo all the thing with the... Caravan I did just now. I would also, it, I think it'd be kind of fun to place goblins. Or humans. I just wonder if, like, would that actually make me able to craft different kind of objects? Because humans are able to create, craft, like, meat cleavers for some reason. And they all have their own instrument. Okay. What is gonna happen? Are you gonna die? Uh, no, we're fine. Okay. So then I assume that the bad bad is below here. You have discovered a great magma sea. It is. I don't know if it's a bad bad though. You've discovered unusual volcanic ball instead of a gems. Okay. So we are Oh that's a lot of that's a lot of danger. That's a lot of hot hot do not touch. Uh, oh. That's a lot of do not touchies. Um. Oh, oh, we have, oh, oh, there's, there's fire snakes. There's things in the magma. Okay. I thought like magma would not be in like safe or like, I didn't think we have to worry about creatures in there. Oh, it doesn't seem like it counts like as a creature creature. I guess it's just like worms. <laughs> worms don't look at it. Now, that ain't worm. That worm just got his hand cooked when he touched it. Yeah. No, it... it... That's not worm. That's like... Proper spicy. <laughs> interesting. Very interesting. Uh, then we have, okay, so we have a shoot here that, oh, okay, so it's multiple layers. Okay. Okay. There's also some rock areas. Like, can we go past it somewhere? Would that be possible? I don't know why we'd want to do that. I'm kind of curious. But this seems to go all the way down, like through here, seem to be fine. And this stops. This also seems to be fine. That's a little closer by. And this is very close, but that doesn't, that just stops there. That's a pillar. So apparently some fire-based creatures can in fact spawn in magma. Okay, so we can't just directly tap from it. We'll probably want to do... I don't know. We want to secure it somehow. <laughs> also, that's a lot of gem stuff. But how would we even get that? Because there's like fire around it. Like if we were to mine it out, it'd just burn up along with our dwarf. Um, okay, now you... Stop, you stop. 
you still you we have a little bit of space here which is reasonably close by i'm trying to find a way i kind of want to go down through it so i'm trying to find a place where that would be safe the thing is actually through this thing so yeah uh, there we go there and then down a little more here about here there and then we go I think if it's next to the magma you just don't get those gems but I'd imagine you can mine it like I the one next to it yeah probably uh, cool. Actually, let's just start. Yeah. Like so. Like here, then up, then down, then up, down. Um, but we will make a door here. Actually, no, we'll make this wide because then more dwarves can get through. But we have discovered the Great Magma Sea. Now I just need to figure out how I'm going to top it. And I also want to know what's under it, because we can go further down. And I'm curious. Oh yeah, diplomacy. Uh, discuss the situation. We always want leather, so give me. I think we ask for lion and cheetah usually. I want to try keep it the same kind, so we have we don't have a bunch of different kinds of leather. Ask for steel in uh, coal. in I'd like actually uh, not metal bars but other bars we'd want I see not powders is it no it's miscellaneous there Refined coal. So I looked up, there are four creatures that can spawn in magma. I see what uh, one seemingly being not if, but when encounter if you want to use magma. Okay. So I do need to be careful with it. Don't tell me anything else. It'll, it'll be 
dwarven, great dwarven fun when I have I run into it, <laughs> Un unknowing. But it's good to keep in mind. Uh, we'll call that done. And they want toys. Uh, they're still gonna just get our old clothes because screw them. Um, we're gonna ask our broker to come over. Still kind of like we should have. Like, old clothing. Shouldn't we? Hold up, we can actually, we can check our stockpiles first before we go through that entire list. Oh, some of our newer clothing ended up in here. I see. How the heck did you, you're not supposed to be in there. I sadly, I cannot uh, say only old clothing here. Um... Which is a shame. Okay. So then we'll go... Beans. Hello, Marine! Thank you once... Thank you for the subscription, I really appreciate it. Six months, now whole half Yeah! I really appreciate it. Also, how are you doing? I hope you're well. Is this the old clothing one? No, this is just mixed clothing. It shouldn't be mixed, because... This is both... Pigtail and other stuff. Mm. No... This one? No, not that one. This one. Yeah, this one. We have breached the magma sea and now we're trying to go beyond. Whilst I try and think of a way of using magma. Oh, we have unleashed the echo of a uh, forgotten divine retribute. Oh, wait, wait, what? Hold up, what? 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 Oh. Oh, messenger of Rashku's hammer. Oh, oh, oh dear. Um, what? What? Hey, yeah, I'm doing good. Started gym and decided to get my eating habits in check. Feeling much better, even with the stiff muscles. Oh, that's great. That is really impressive. Good job. I, I hope that's going well for you. Yeah, I'm concerned. Um, what did we just unleash? Maybe we shouldn't have dug this deep. We might have made a mistake. Oh, the messenger is hostile too. Um, who are you? Okay, you're an accomplished axeman, swordman, knife user, maceman, and hammerman. You are 174 years old. You have no relationships. You... Okay, I'm wearing intricate black metal armor. Did y'all just find, like, I don't know. A large feathered goat in humanoid form. It is very sturdy looking. It was created by the dwarven gold Rashkur and it's of a, a, of a part with fortresses and... Get the army. A large feathered goat in human form. <laughs> Guys... Guys, I think... Uh-oh. But it's a messenger. Do we have a messenger? I don't know what messengers do. But I'll, I'll select a messenger. Uh, congratulations, you're a messenger. Can you now talk to them? Can we talk? I think that new form is coming up here and an expect messenger of that. It's a messenger of the Dwarven God of War, this cannot be good. Um, everyone. Absolutely everyone. Get No no fighting yet. Uh, we're just gonna go down here. And we're gonna... Are you gonna... Uh, uh, actually, um, maybe hold off on that for a moment. Okay, an echo of a forgotten divine retribution. What did we do? 
It's a measure of like the God of War's child. From Okay, the army is here. Fine. Get him. Oh, oh, he is. Oh dear. I have improved my hammer. That was not satisfying. Yeah, you hit him with a crossbow. Charges, glides, tumbles backwards. Shot is blocked. Messenger bashes the lead marks for uh, deflected, bruising the bone, tearing apart. The lead mark, he loses his shield. He misses. He charges again. Stumbles. Bruising the bone. Tendons have been torn. Deflected. Charges. Stumbles. Bashes. Bruising the eyelid, skin. Bends the hair, tearing apart the fa fat and tearing apart the upper spine's nervous tissue. Oh dear. Falls over. Jumps away. Hits them in the upper front teeth with her right hoof and the serve. Okay, so bashes out her teeth. Oh dear. Our, my marks dwarf is getting really badly beaten. Oh, this is what's called the hidden from I looked up. Yeah, we aren't far off. Oh dear. Okay, we have a pool of the messenger's eye core. Um, we have a a dead mark swerve. Oh, uh, one moment. Okay, apologies for that. Okay, so I think... Yeah, I think we... 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 We killed the messenger. So we can unstation our... Uh... Guys. And we can allow this to be picked up. Although we're... Going between Dwarf Blood and Messenger Iker. Um, we might have just unleashed our own doom. Potentially. Uh, did we kill it? We did kill it. The question is, should we even dig further at all? It's sized for messenger of Rashku, so, so it's like a very specifically made set of armor. I think we should put that armor on the pedestal somewhere. In fact, I think we might maybe should put it in our tavern. Um, do we have any pedestals? No, not an offering. Display. Uh... Maybe we should put, how about here and here? Or maybe we should put instruments there. Maybe we should put displays here and here. We don't have any displays. You wanna know what that was? Um, no, let me be surprised. I'm I'm sure I won't, actually alters not one we want. I'm sure I won't regret that. Well, I'll have to find out as they come for me. Actually, uh, but I like this being even. But then again, the skull totems don't do much. But I guess we won't, wouldn't be able to see the armor. I'm gonna put the armor on the pedestal here. The special armor. For all to see and witness that we have potentially unleashed like very bad things. Uh, yeah, black metal high boots. That 
black metal high boots, black metal gauntlet. Oh, we do have some black bronze. It's we can't see it because it's intricate probably. It doesn't have a uh... sprite. I don't think the game will tell you directly what it was, but I think you'll be able to pull two and two together if you continue to mine that area. Okay. I guess we'll find it. So we got boots, gauntlets, shields. No. Yeah, people are struggling to get up. We should be fine. We definitely probably want to get our steel stuff going. Also, why is this not tombs? These, these should be tombs. There. Oh yeah, we're gonna make this our holding room for bodies. Uh, I guess we'll make this a granite door. Um, because... Of course, if we're gonna put bodies in there, we don't have a place to put them yet. We want them to be near here, so I'm gonna call this uh... And I believe corpses would be the ones... Like if it's under refuse, it'll be things, but corpses would be, like, for burying, supposedly. Um, oh wait, who died? I, I don't have a name yet. Oh no, I already picked them up. Um, okay, they're all deselected, but this one just says no activity. Oh, uh, Unip has been found dead. I guess they did not survive that encounter. So, first, uh, I should put uh, this one on here. Three. Um... There. And we want a graven memorial for Uni. Now I'm gonna put this one a little more over here actually. I'm gonna call this hospital. Go here. And this one we'll call farm layer then this will be uh maxing there And it says, no health problems, but I beg to differ. You just need a diagnosis. So where is our doctor's at? Oh, you're a captain of the garden, you're also diagnosing the patient. Fair enough.
Am I? No health problems. Meanwhile, they're cut open. Needs cleaning, sheetering, and dressing. I guess she got away from that pretty well. Like, all things considered. Uh, I think we might want this to actually be a bigger passageway. So more dwarves can go in and out. Because this is the access area to the hospital. So we'd want that to be pretty open. Um, we also might want to do the same here. So they don't have to funnel through like a very tiny gap. We should trade. Our trader is not currently present. Still fights happening, but we don't really care. I keep saying our millstone is unpowered. We know for a fact it is. Maybe it just like very briefly dips like the power too much. Probably what's going on. Editor and the surrounding lands have been made a duchy. Kubuk the mayor has been re-elected. Do we have new demands? No, we just cannot export buckets. Don't really know what a messenger is used for. We got some steel. We got chalk and corn leaf. Got leather, more leather, and actually we're gonna select everything and then just deselect the things we don't want. Hold up, you didn't bring anything else? Just the requested stuff? Really? I mean, I'm glad you brought the requested stuff, but you don't... What? Nothing else at all. Usually you bring some other stuff. I might just make one stockpile with only masterwork crossbows and sell all the other ones. So we have quite a lot of uh, crossbows now because I'm training my boyer to just be good. I'm gonna sell more things than needed, but we'll start with this. I'm confused. Why didn't you bring all your stuff? Is it are you not able to get down here or something? You should be. Are the turns not good enough? Can you not stand on the on the bridge? Do you need more space around? Like, why don't you have more stuff? Like, it's kind of weird. Usually they bring more than just the stuff I requested. Good morning, uh, Ginger Ridge. Messengers are used to request named words from sites that are linked to you. Morning. Okay, that's good to know. Uh, thank you. Yeah, they have nothing else to trade for some reason. Oh wait, greetings from the mountain and your efforts are legend here. Let us trade. So... Hmm. I'm pretty sure they're also used to someone is requesting an artifact. It... Previously, it was usually my mare that would then go out and be diplomatic with all risks. Um, 
relating to that. Um, but maybe it was because I didn't have a good messenger. Um, I kind of want to, like, not have this stuff because it's clogging up and I can't trade it else, but I was hoping for more stuff. Did they get spooked by the potentially demonic goats? Or is my access not good enough? They should be able to make these turns, shouldn't they? Although I don't think I've even have like caravans yet, like once wagons. So that should definitely should not have been a problem, like wagon access. So I don't know what's up. Um. I guess I'll just keep a bunch of the stuff because I I don't need it. Like, or keep bunch of stuff because I don't, they don't have anything to trade. I'll, maybe I'll give them some of the totems though. Just to have less stuff. All first gifts, yeah. The other stuff I guess I'll keep for future trading. Kind of weird. to change this one to only be really really good weapons and that one is metals that are still allowed to be good we have less of those Yeah, we are not continuing this thing. And what I'm gonna actually do is I'm gonna because I do want to know where I intended to dig. I'm gonna change it to blueprints. Right now, yes. is that not that? This is the one. Um, over gifts. Oh, I did not know that. I'm just sign one. Oh. Hmm. See, my mare was the one that usually did that, but it might be that if it's not, like, if you have a messenger, they might actually not send the mare, which would be nice. Um, so, I would want these to be magma powered. And these guys too. In which case I want magma here. I just don't know how to safely do that. Because I think what you want is what I've seen people do is like run just lines under. So there. I don't think the wood furnaces have a magma variant. Right, you go 
furnaces and you got magma glass, magma kiln, magma smelter and not of wood and then you get a magma forge. And then you'd want a, I believe like a little bit of a, a, um, what is the word for it? Like a larger area to draw from. Like a, I think in with water it's called a cistern. I don't know if it <laughs> not, would be still the same name in magma, and you'd connect it to that like so. I'm gonna turn this into blueprints for now. Um, the thing is. You'd need to pump it up. Maybe I'll actually do that. So this is the area that I want to have magma run under and then I'd make small little holes above the forges and the things. Um, then I need to pump it up to wherever this is and then connect it to the place I'd hold it. Maybe... Um, I assume it would be on the same level as this. So I guess maybe under here, and then assuming that I don't need to dig down here, that it will just be connected like this. And then in case I do need to run walkways, it'll go past there. Maybe it'll be a little more here. Even right, one, two, three, four, six. Okay, one, two, three, four. yeah, that's in the middle. And then I'd need to fill it, in which case, I need to use pumps. For one, I'd need to power them, although I could have my towards pump it by hand, uh, but I think we probably want it powered. And again, it's not a very long stack, so maybe we can do it by hand. But we should set them up in a way where we could, like, power them all in one go. Um... So then... I believe how you'd make that work is if you grab a screw pump, if it goes uh, from left to right, So it'll grab from here, and that would be like one block below, and it'll pump it to here, and this is considered a wall. And then on the next level, you'd go from right to left, so it would grab from here, and then pump it up there, and then it would be a wall. So it need to be... So a hole here, then that would be floor still, and you go up, and there would be a hole here, and then there would be floor, and then you go back and forth, back and forth. Uh, but then the wall section would be on opposite ends each time. But I know that if I put like, because I have done that 
prior here, do I remove them because they weren't that good at water generation? That if you, because I had the pumps here, that if I put like a hole in between, then they can pump, uh, they can power each other. So then you'd have one area and then they'd all be connected by that one hole. Uh, we should make a free center location so I can easily get there. So then, let's see. I'd want it pumped into there, so I'd have them maybe with this alignment. So there would be a pump here, it would go from there to there, um, which would mean this is the wall, this is where they can walk over, this would also need to be mined out and that would go down. And then here I would have this same. So in it would go from there to there, down, 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 at least to here. So go this way, this way, this way, this way, this way. Okay. Hold up. Uh, from there. And then there. 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 So it'll pump from here, from a hole here. And that could work, that would be connected. And then of course I need to make a hole to connect them all through. But I'd also need a way of accessing it. Um, I think it's, this is the wall, but then this would be the wall. So I need them to be able to walk around it. So I either need a little space on this side or on this side, but I think on this side might be easier. Um, maybe we want this, maybe one removed from here. Maybe we want it a little further away so I can keep this separate from the bump section. So let's remove that for a second. Um, it's actually... Move that a little closer by. And then this would be the connection. So if there's two here, then they could always access the pump because either this is going to be a wall or this is going to be a wall, but then they can walk around and then they need to have stairs. So this would be a walkway and this would be a stairway, but I eventually... Might need it sectioned off. Mm. In which case I'd need one further away and then, then I'd need to do the stairs down. Then I could have a wall in uh, in between. Yeah. And then we'd have stairs. So from here, all the way down would be stairs. I 
definitely need to make some walls there and there so it wouldn't be open. So it would bump from here to there. This one would come from here to there, but this one would already be open technically. Like if we get this foam, then the lava could go in there. We need the walkway. Now we need to connect it to the stairs. Because then they could access all of the thingies. Then go in there. It would hold extra magma here and it would power it through here. I guess we could put this directly against it if we wanted, but I guess we won't. Um. I would love this to be a little bit more to the left though, then it wouldn't be exactly in the center filling it. Oh well. Um, the only thing is we could of course not go down here in case, but assuming that if we dig this down, this portion will be removed and we'd have access to the magma. Yeah. Then the only thing is we'd also potentially like we'd want to power it. So we need to run power to it, which we could technically do from this side, because we can't go through here. Uh, we already have stuff there. And technically we could run power to it from here, like on this level, and then the entire stack would be powered. Or we could theoretically power it somewhere in the middle of the stack. Actually, I don't think that would work well. I think we'd probably want to power it from the top of the stack. Um, so we'd need to go in like so. that work yeah these two should be safe we shouldn't have any leakage although wait hold up this is a diagonal would that spill hmm that might end up spilling because, yeah, now we don't want a diagonal here because it's going to pump lava here. And if this this diagonal here, it'll flow out again. That would be dangerous. So we don't want that. So what if we... Put the stairs here. In this case, the wall would be here. In this case, wall would be there. So we need to just shift from which side we get a access because we want them to be able to walk here but we don't want anything right next to here. So there, that one there, that one there. That should work, I hope. And then we'd need, either we have them power it through Dwarven Labor, 
or we have it powered um, with water labor. I was talking with someone who knows a lot more about Dwarf than I do, and he said it was incredibly lucky that you did not find a circus. Yeah, I've heard about the circus before. I thought people were, like, joking. Like, there's one cavern layer that is apparently so dangerous, and because danger is called fun, I was like, okay, I guess maybe that's, like, called the circus, but... Sometimes it seems like they're literal. I, I want to find out if I find the circus on... Like, I don't want to do any more research, because I want my actual honest to goodness surprise reaction if it's an actual circus or if it's just whatever it is apparently it scales and it's dangerous so if we find it we find it if we don't i guess we're lucky for now we're gonna try and focus on the magma i found it once when i reclaimed the fort i can confirm it was fun <laughs> well i'll see when i run into it for now uh okay so we that's what we want. I'm definitely going to have this be uh, not done yet. In fact, I kind of want to smooth it all out, which I don't think I can do if I... No, actually I should be able to smooth it out because they would be viable uh, ramps. And then I need to connect two here, which I think I would just do like so, and I'll put a door here and I'll eventually lock it. I won't say what the circus is, but I feel like if you do the clown car, you will have... the Do the clown car you will have kicked will require safety to be turned off. All right, I'll keep that in mind. Um, then what we're gonna do is I'm gonna make a tiny room here, mainly so I can put a lever in there for the door. Um, so I'll go here, I'll have a lever for there. Maybe we want a slightly bigger control room. Maybe we'll do there and then... Uh, on this side we'll have a control room I would like it to be even with this but uh, I, I guess I could do that oh no 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 that would be slick done I am going to need a water break soon. I hope I'm doing this right. I have no clue what I'm doing. I mean, I have a slight clue, but not enough clue. Actually, I do need all this mined out. So, yeah. I'll check. Thank you. I'll take another sip of water and that'll be the last bit of my bottle. And we'll do a stretch check whilst we look away. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And I'm gonna ask them to smooth this because I want it smooth. Oh man, they're gonna tease me with having lapis lazuli in the walls and then me not being able to. Okay, so I guess I can't smooth this if I put a thingy there. Ah, that's fine. I 
that feels I should. That is does not need to be smelled then. Cancelled that stair already. Wait, hold up. Why didn't that become a ramp? It's all metal or casserite. Unusual volcanic walls studded with gems. Okay. Ah, yes. Very easily accessible. Oh, wait, what? I thought I said do not mind that yet. Well, that's there. Um, I would like you guys to uh, put a great floor bars there. But I need that to be magma safe. But I believe iron is fine. We don't have that many iron bars. Okay. Well... Why don't we have? Shouldn't this? Okay, that's making nickel. Uh, that's silver. That's tin. That's copper. We don't have hematite. Okay. Uh, so then... Melt. We don't have casserite right now. I think casserite, I believe, was iron. No, casserite was thin. Melt. Elena? No, that's lead and silver. Okay, hold up. I can just check under stone news. Um. Okay, iron is hematite, laminite, magnetite. So magnetite, laminite, or hematite. Mm, magnetite. We don't have magnetite. We also don't have limonite. Oh, that's no good. Huh. Okay. Interesting. So we need to get ourselves some more iron. We do have a bunch of old iron stuff that we could smell. We could start there. Um...
Let's smell that one. It's not these because I'm pretty sure I just bought them to be smelted for my own stuff. So we're looking for limatite, hematite, and uh, what was the other one? Magnetite. And then we're going to go for our water break because I need to get more water. There's probably specific layers that those ores are found, but I wouldn't know. I could look it up, but I'm just gonna scroll through it right now. Uh, no, Galena was not one of the ones we needed. Mm. This is where we mined Fluxstone. Yeah, hematite here. Iron is usually found towards the top layers I found. Okay, magnetite is red. It's usually red. Magnetite is red. Uh, it appears that hematite is also red. So yeah, we, we do have some iron nodes here. So let's just... Uh... Get all this. I'm gonna have this bit be auto because we'll maybe find a longer luster. These are the dirt layers. and pieces <laughs> that have already been brought there. Beast Ozufos has come. A huge swift with external ribs. It has a spiral shell and appears to be emaciate, em emaciated. Its eyes glow scarlet, where its poisonous bite. Where where are you? Ah, you're in the, the mud layer. Uh, we don't really care. A migrant has arrived, just one, because we need to be up to 200. You are a talented marks for... Okay. Uh, I'll put you in hunters, I guess. And in... Bone well, carving, so you have something to do. 
The one guy made a hell of a track. You. Yeah. Okay. So that should close us off from the danger and prevent any dwarves from falling in. I wish I could have these smooth up, honestly. I mean, it makes sense I can't smooth those because there's no thingy. Why, why is there no slope? Mm. Are we gonna mine that castle right? I guess. Oh, uh, I don't want to also that. I guess we will. And I will put in walls. I could temporarily put in floors because I do actually kind of want it all smooth. It. I changed my mind. But for now, first, before I get distracted again, I should bring my uh, do a water break and fill up my bottles. So I'll be right back. There will be some ads. So people don't have to deal with pre-roll for a while. I'll see you all in three minutes and then we'll continue with our scary, scary uh, magma situation. <laughs> I, I am kind of worried that I have because I have no clue what I'm doing. Uh, any case, be right back. And I'm back. Let's continue. And there. Ugh, I'm cold. Not cold enough that I want to put on a warmer jacket, because if I do that, then I start overheating. Oh, hold up. Do we have a forgotten beast brawl? Uh, no, I think that's too separate. Oh no, we have a Forgotten Beast Brawl. Forgotten Beast Brawl. Okay, so you're... Ooh, you're heavily bleeding. Uh, and you have... So you have poisonous gas. And you... Have a poisonous bite. Fight, fight, fight. Yes. Let's see what's going on. Yeah. Many clouds of lawn. Oh, oh, running. Oh, no. Oh, no, no, they're on top of each other. It's big. <laughs> that elk burst <laughs> walking up on the, the giant fight, like, uh. <laughs> he saw what's going on. He's like, nope, never mind. I'm gone. I didn't see anything. <laughs> he's just staring. Like, he's also cheering them on. Fight, fight, fight. I have my money on. I don't know which one. Oh. Oh, nope. Still, still going. <laughs> I think I have the wrong room. I'll be leaving. <laughs> don't find me. Did... Okay, seriously injured, heavily bleeding. Yeah, that's a lot of... A lot of stuff. I wonder, like... So... Okay, he's Phil, so he's, he's starting to get... Uh, like, he's actually bleeding out. Or today, it's a forgotten beast. Yeah. Very cut open. So, the other one has a bunch of scars because they got into fights yet, but it healed up. But this one is new. Oh, you're seriously injured, but you're not bleeding anymore. That's, I think, Crocodile. Oh, no, Crocodile won. 
Crocodile won. Good job. <laughs> now he's whining, understandably. So... I wish I could expand this because I'd like to read the entirety of it. So, let's see. A uh, bunch of stuff broken and bruised. Dented. I want to know, did he end up getting any like actual bites in? Oh, he did a... He did a crocodile dead roll. It's a lot of boiling blood, but did he... did anyone get bitten? So I don't exactly know what the extract does, because I haven't seen it. I think it's not, like, immediate. I want to know if... The one with the poisonous bites managed to actually poison the other. It's extract. Oh, yeah, injected in the forgotten beast blood. Okay, so we did get a, a bite. So he was bitten. We can't... I don't know if we can see what the poison is gonna do. I he just couldn't... Like, I know I just got nearly murdered, but I am... Um, I'm still fighting. I'm gonna kill as many things as possible. <laughs> ability to stand, lost bone nerve damage, sensory nerve damage. That ability to stand being lost it does not seem to stop this guy from moving, though. Like, what do you mean my legs don't work? I am moving by pure willpower and murderous rage. He's only stopping, I think, occasionally because he's getting winded. Yeah, so I wonder if we're gonna get to see what that venom does. Forgotten Beast literally too angry to die, yeah. I still wonder what exactly happened to this layer that everything is covered with mud. Because it also it has a really strange cutoff point, like right there. So I think it's something with the loading of the chunks or something. It's something odd. In any case, we watched the fight. Let's get this all up. Not you. You can stay unsmoothed. I just want all this smoothed out because reasons. Okay, we'll mine all this, and we'll mine this, I guess. Oh, I don't want that auto. I managed to capture a rock in a cage trap, and then butchered and currently feasting on that rock. Yeah, big, big bird. I've had one appear on me uh, in an Austrian colony. I think it's really cool that they have that mythological creature in there too. Because they can... Come on, the dwarves will actually butcher and eat them, which is kind of neat. Uh, I'm just going to fill this in. I want this to be nice looking. don't want big gaps. You can actually train it to be a war rock. Oh, that's cool. I'm not really good at capturing creatures, but that is cool. That that would be really cool to, to have. I'm yet to encounter like Robin Bees and Rocks, but I remember seeing Rock in the world chanting and being quite scared in the event. One rocks up, but apparently it will also be accurate to your military and vice versa. 
No, the rock that was in my other thing. Um, uh, like, in my off-stream playthrough, like, aggroed to just my pets. So it murdered, like, a bunny I had outside uh, before I could get my military unit. And I just... it. When birds are angry, they'll just fly into your base. They don't care that they lose, like, the advantage of being able to fly over things. They'll just go inside. And so did the rock. It just, like, I'm gonna murder your bunny and then I'm gonna go inside and murder your dwarves. It gave... It, it didn't care. No, no cares were given that day. The rock was like, nah. Sounds like you bird. Yeah. I don't think I'm gonna mine all this gas, right? I just wanted some of it. And I want to fill this in because I do want this to be like a neat little area. I want this like neat as in clean. Hello. Welcome to the stream, old one grey. Uh, I hope you'll enjoy your stay here. And we'll fill that in. Suspend this so they do that one first. Thank you, it seems quite tranquil here. I tried to go for chill uh, vibes. So I'm glad you think so. Caravan is leaving, that's fine. Spent construction of wall. Which one? That one. Okay. I'm pretty new to Dwarf Fortress, even with the amount of hours I have now. I still don't know exactly what I'm doing. Yeah. I mean... Kinda same. <laughs> It feels like with Warford, no one ever knows exactly what they're doing, because something always goes wrong. Yeah. Oh, cannot reach the site. What do you mean? Should be able to reach. So, I'd like this smoothed. Yes, there's gonna be lava sitting in here, but I... Decided that I want this to be clean. That's the only reason. Come on, make the thing. Uh, that's true, but I at least want to become a little bit self sustainable to the point where I can start doing cool stuff and not have four starve to death. Yeah. That, that is feasible. It just takes a bit to learn. Um, okay, I want the close off there. I'm gonna make that out of granite and then I'm gonna uh, put a uh, door here. And that one will be out of Gabro. The reason I don't make the walls out of magma safe materials is because if something is made like is a wall, then it'll be magma safe. Doesn't matter what it's when the objects aren't magma safe that they'll burn. But you could technically make these walls out of wood and they would not burn. I found if you have fruit trees, setting dwarves to also gather fruit vegetables is usually a good way to maintain food drink. Um, yeah, they tend to get stuck in trees. What you can do is you can get a gathering region. Um, currently, this one is turned off. Uh, if I turn it on, then they'll start gathering. Um, I actually like to remove them using step ladders because it'll go very, very slow and you can just wait for the fruit to fall. And also, they are more likely to get stuck in trees if they go up with the ladder. And you want quite a lot of step ladders in that case. Um, 
So many dwarf slots in trees. Yeah. And you could also manually uh, set gathering orders, but they then won't get stuff from the grounds. Yeah, I usually have the trees turned off because I've lost several dwarves to got stuck in trees and died. Yeah, same. Although I've had the dwarves getting stuck in trees issue happen way, way less uh, in this version of the game than in the legacy version when I played it. Manly said gathering only gather plants, not fruit. Yeah, when you when you uh, do manual gathering, they won't grab fruits from the ground or fruit in general. They'll only grab certain plants. Now for animals, I want to set up a few animals that can give me more than one good. For example, cheese, fleece, wool, or something like that. So I can take care of traded goods and food for my dwarves. I find the best food source is just farm plots. Um, especially once you put them underground, then they'll produce stuff pretty fast. Animals actually, at least I've noticed that, they will make like start lowering your FPS even once you slaughter them. Um, so in any next fortress I'm going to do, I'm probably going to go way, uh, like, reduce my animal husbandry, like, by a lot. I'll, I'll ease up on that quite, quite a bit. Spice things up a bit. I don't want them to be shoveling down vegetables all the time. I'll keep them happy since I know that I have small number of dwarves to start out with. I'll spoil the seven and give the scraps to the rest of them. <laughs> Fair. Hi everyone. Hello Fagolf. Welcome to the stream. I hope you're doing well. Uh, I think I can start removing these because everything has been smoothed. It was just temporary. Did not smooth that one. Mad, you cannot smooth stairs. Actually, I'm not sure if you were to smooth the tile before you put a stair in there, would the tile be smoother? Welcome back, Lumis Lightus. I don't have an unblur command. <laughs> I'm doing wonderful. I hope you're fantastic too. I'm I'm doing well. I, I enjoyed your fortress, and we're actually doing magma stuff, which is both exciting because magma and also very scary. They are refusing to build that wall because of that dang glob over there. Oh, and it's someone's own dang glob. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you to throw it away. No glob for you. Just finished work. Nice! Now you can relax. Hopefully. Oh, you dwarf. See that glove? Get rid of it. Yeah, because it's in the way. They they refuse to move the glove to finish the construction. Like this war glove. Oh, we need to toss that too because if it gets molten by the lava, people are going to be unhappy because it's a masterwork. Uh, and we want to link this lever to you. We're going to smooth that dial too, because we can. I've not touched magma yet, but I did manage to make a cave in on accident that went from one cavern lay into another puncturing a reservoir, slowing the FPS from 32 to 6 and drowning 16 dwarves in the process. Ah, uh, good old dwarf and fun. <laughs> I would so much do to play dwarves for just now instead of working. Oh, hopefully, 
uh, you can you can play it soon. I don't I don't know. Works just yeah sometimes. Um, let's start getting our screw bumps in, and also thinking about how we're gonna connect them. So this one would be so because we we don't want to put it in yet because then we lock all this off. Um, of course we could make a little entrance around it, uh, but I don't want to do that. And the feather wood blocks too, but it if it falls, just for Z levels becomes deadly and penetrating. Ooh, feather wood. I, I've been wanting to get that, because apparently it's pretty good if you um, don't want your dwarves to do a lot of damage. But it only grows in specific biomes. Does grinding a single monster hunting fight sound relaxing? I need to get two material drops. They both drop from the same parts break so I can only get one chance at it per hunt. One is a 5% chance and the other is a 3% chance. Bins, buckets, barrels and good biomes. Words like good and mirthful, serene and calm are misleading. <laughs> Stretch check, posture check. Hydration check. Water. Uh, stretchy stretch. Arms up. Sides. Roll the shoulders. The other way. Lick all the fingies. Oh, look away. 10 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And posture. Also, hello, welcome to the Spring Lyran. Good to see you. I got attacked by undead harpies, and because I don't have enough mace and warhammers, and an undead harpy head is now harassing the flip out of my doors whenever they go to serve. Oh no. Oh no, wait, are you playing in like an evil biome? I thought they only got reanimated in evil biomes. And I mean, grinding can be relaxing, but it sounds like that grind is kind of aggravating if the drop chances are so low. Um, okay, so we were gonna go through bump this way, Gabro, glass, glass. We're gonna suspend it, um, like we, we don't want it being built yet. Then the one below, we're gonna go the other way, so Gabro, glass, glass. And then... Uh, yeah. It's this way, Gabro, glass, glass. This one goes the other way. Gabro, glass, glass. And this one... Once again goes this way, Gavro, glass, glass. Uh, this one can be built, that one is fine, but all the other ones we need to suspend. Actually, we might need a... Just dropped a 5% part from break and it's the Wind Serpent Orb. I need the Thunder Serpent Orb and Origin Orb. Gosh dang it all. Oh. Wait, how am I gonna link these though? Hello Luna, more diggy diggy hole? More diggy diggy hole. Only now with lava and potentially demons. Uh, we had some old goats messenger pop up that attacked their doors. Not to mention this is a 40 minute fight. Oh no. Oh, that... That's not a fun grind. That's end long and a very low chance for getting the things you want. That's not a fun grind at all. Um... So I know I can connect them all if I put a hole to go through under and it gets harder if the fight goes uh, on since your resources run dry isn't can you like get help can, can other people help you would that speed up the process i know you can uh play monster hunter with other people um the only thing is 
Okay, so in this case I had two above each other and I had one open space. Certainty of that, small chance of success. What are we waiting for? Yeah, but I'm struggling to find other Switch players online right now. Ah, uh, I see. That sucks. Yeah. I hope maybe you find some people to make it, like, easier. Um. So for my pump stack, I'm pretty sure. Plus, if they break the part, I don't get the drop. Oh, so you need to not only have other people that are online, but you also need to be able to communicate with them that you need to break that part because that's the drop you're grinding for. Yeah. Oh. Oh goodness. Hello, Trash Snail. Thank you very much for the raid. Welcome to the stream. I hope you're doing well. Let me give you a shout out. Slippy Snail Raid. Yay. It's good to see you again. Uh, like that, like that, right? You are also playing for Aww. Fortress, and we have a clip Ooh, of a starting soon screen. What is this? Wow, it's a very pretty starting soon screen, actually. Like, I like the the, the little <laughs> just thingy floating in the back. Yeah, no. It's very nice. Yeah, yeah. Into... welcome, welcome. My name is Luna. As you can uh, see, I'm currently playing Dwarf Fortress. Two. I'm a variety <laughs> streamer. I play games uh, that tend to lean towards strategic, but anything that catches my eye. I also like cute games and I tend to go for chill vibes. So if you can, I'd love to have you hang around. If any of you have to go because it's late, you need food, uh, need to do chores, whatever it is, please don't feel obligated. But if you do have the time, I'd love to hear how it went. How's your fort going? We currently hit the magma sea. We had a demon pop up. Um, thanks, my boy goes for that made it. Yay! That's nice. It's, it's nice when people like give stuff. It's really just, I don't know, it makes me happy. <laughs> um, well, it's currently 5.45 and I'm over in the great uh, white north Canada. Oh, that's, that's late. Uh, but yeah, we're trying to make a magma pump stack, and I'm nervous. So, okay. Um, technically, if we put them on top of each other, because I think I'm going to mainly do it with Dwarven Power first. But if that doesn't work, then I want to make sure that I can easily switch it over to, like, Water Powered. Hello, Lindon. Hello, Kaino. Oh boy, we're not even close to magma. Yeah, I, I only, like, preached it today, and I'm scared. Um, if we... So if we dig holes through, so we have it. Uh, I'm gonna make it blueprint mode. So if we dig here, never mind that I just put them all down and stop the construction. So it would go down, down. down down and then this one doesn't need any because it'll pump up directly uh 5.45 a.m is it later or very very early depends did you sleep and wake up or did you not sleep because if you did not sleep then it's very late if you slept and you woke up then it's very very early i don't not sleep then it's very very late 9.46 p.m. on the east side of Australia. Gonna try one last hunt. Okay, good luck. I hope you get it. I hope you get at least one of the things uh, that is, because you can only get one at a time. Um, but that should connect them all. So we'd start with building this one, and then we build the ones on top. Um, and then it should all be connected, and I should be able to connect... Um, power to it if need be in which case if i were to run power through here then maybe i made that room too big but that's future luna problems stream laggy it shouldn't be is my is my internet being a meanie again
because I sure hope it doesn't, because uh, I can't fix that. We're working on it. Or, or more like my mom is working on it, because we need a different provider, but... How do I disassemble already built wall? You go to uh, mining and designate constructed wall spurs to be removed. And then you just click on the wall and it will remove them. If you don't, like in this case, it's a blueprint I have on, but this way. Still not removing that flipping glove, and I cannot continue construction until it's gone because they refuse to move it. The little jerks. Uh, I'll have them smooth all this because I can. Uh, I'm gonna open up that door. I just need it to be able to be locked off. Um, have you tried the sledge? I mean, they, all they need is a pickaxe. This is Dwarf Fortress. Then I'm gonna, I think, put a another uh, door there uh, to lock things off. Because this is where the magma will be held, um, but I might not always want it to be like filling in there. Perhaps the giant glass man filled with clay. <laughs> or juggernaut. <laughs> Those are all very fun solutions, but they're not the dwarven solutions of uh, just a big axe. Oh, suspended construction. Why did you? No. Oh. Suspend the. Unsuspend the screw bound. Make the screw bound. And I need to link you. And I think I might want to remove and replace the forges before there's magma in there. But I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, link this lever. Um, oh, wait, hold up. Can I? Oh, I used two granites for this. I hope that's not going to end up bad. Because, of course, we also have granite mechanisms lying around. But I can't tell them which mechanism to use. Well, I guess we'll find out if it goes horribly, horribly wrong soon enough. Um, I think I'll first check if the magma pumping works. And then I'll have this door linked. And I'll open it once this is filled. So once this is filled, then I can remove the workshop. Because in the meantime, they still need to be working. And it might take a while before I get it all set up. Uh, also, uh, do, no, this is this is a no-go zone. This is like, do not hang out here unless you have work to do. Okay, so this is May. That's good. I am going to have them dig. I'll do this one at a time so I can check if it all goes well. Because I'm worried that if I dig this one that they won't be able to place a screw pump here so I might need to switch around the uh, places they're connected to and I hope that works. This one will go from there to there. So Gabro, glass, glass. Good luck with the meeting! Oh, uh, do not look up the kit please. Also, could we, like, just 
please get that section of the wall done. Okay, so now it says uh, total power needed 10. Let's see that if this one is uh, placed, if they'll, uh, the power need will go up, because then we know they're connected. Oh, item blocking side. Yeah, I knew that. The item that they do not want to move, because they're jerks. Um, what I am going to do, because I'm going to forget, is I think... Yeah, these guys are doing their training now. They want to fight, but that's... They... Ironically, do not get that when training in the military. Okay, this he still wants martial training, so they're still not done. Um, but the second therapy group, I'm going to take off, and then whenever they get therapy, they'll just take care of their needs. Oh, also, we want this smoothed. We open this up so more of them can just easily walk in and out of the tavern. We didn't want a bottleneck there. Also, we have a uh, very fancy rope here. That's why it's there. Okay, this one is built. And now the total power is 20, so they are connected. Okay. Then I am... Hmm. I'll just give it a try if we can keep all of the holes on the same side or if we need to switch between them and have them connect that way. I can always place a floor in if it doesn't work, after all. Of course... Aesthetically, I want it all to be the same, but we won't be able to see the floor anyway, so it's fine. Aha, I see. No access. Because we do... Yeah, need to... Okay. So we need to... Floor. This. And then we need to mine uh, this one. Oh, we have a visitor. We have had him visit before, haven't we? Have we interrogated him before? We have. Well, interrogation time again. We've had too many thieves. Yeah, so this one goes like there, and then this one will go there. We need more steel. I assume we're out of iron, because we were kind of low on the iron department, but we might also be out of fluxstone. We're still hauling all of this. Um, we'll look all of his other remains in here. Unib's remains, because... We don't want them to play musical chairs with bodies. They tend to sometimes do that. Can rock blocks be used to make furniture? No, they cannot. So you don't want to turn all of your um, stones into rock blocks. Um, rock blocks are really good to use for like buildings because you get four of them out of one like stone. Um, but they will not work for making furniture and crafts and such so you do want to keep some just as they are i'm pretty sure this was eventually intended to be removed although 
I get maybe maybe it was a hole actually. Ah. Um Okay, so we're doing that. Oh, finally, they removed the flipping thing. Uh, the only thing is that we actually kind of don't want one of them in there because it's a masterwork and it'll be destroyed and it'll make them sad. Wait, hold up. Why? Why are you here? Why are you not in your grave? I... Um... So this is both corpses and refuse. What if I remove dwarves from here? They put all his other remains up in his coffin. <laughs> yeah, they, they, they brought in the other guy's corpse and they were like, yeah, this is fine. Also, whoever is going to throw out the other glove, I need to stop before they throw it because... It's a masterwork glove, and if we smash that, their people are going to be sad. And what we can do is uh, pause this for a second and have this be our dump. And they'll hopefully throw it in there, and then we can just unlock it. Because they still have not removed this one. Okay, uh, make the other one. So the screw bump that goes from there to there. Gabro. Okay, and then so we know that we need to switch out the side the hole is made at each time. So this side will need a hole here. Only uh, we need to wait with doing that until we're done here. So we'll do this for now. We might actually want an access point here. Um, I'm thinking, potentially, if we end up realizing that we do need to access this area, but of course we can't go through here, we could make a set of stairs right down and then put a door in and have them access it like that. We'll see. We'll hold off because we can't do that whenever, in case we need to, without risk as long as this is not filled with lava yet and we're gonna close this door and then fill this with lava first to see if this works and then we'll adapt um okay so this is being made then we can make this one it should go like so And then this one has to wait. And we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it with manual labor first to check if it works. We might not need to do anything complicated and set up like water generators. Should we bury him? Nah, just chuck him in with the rest. Someone can turn around later. <laughs> yeah, they they kind of did that. And whoever his relatives are are probably very unhappy about about him being okay. They removed him. Uh, we also have this there. Uh, so is he now... 
did they move his okay they they moved his arm okay what are we lacking for steel right now because we clearly need more steel stuff especially if we're gonna potentially have more demons show up i kind of like to be prepared um We don't have iron, we don't have big iron, we don't have flux stones, we don't have refined coal. Okay. Well. Um. So we need to look for iron, and it's usually near the top layers. Yeah. But these are detailed walls, so we cannot mine those, because they'll get people upset with spaghetti. Uh, we'll also mine this stuff. Oh, no. There. I like this. No, no, also mining this, because you'll remove the detailed wall. There will be upset with spaghetti dwarves. Um... By the way, Luna has lunchtime. Yeah, I'm I'm waiting till I'm called. I eat lunch with other people, so my lunchtime depends on them. <laughs> but thank you for the reminder. Um, and yeah, I'm probably gonna strip mine. I just I don't like messing up my nice looking areas. Hopefully, this layer is still valid as a slip strip mine. I'm just gonna not have too many things going at once. I love the music in this game. Okay, we're good. This is cleared out. We're gonna pull this lever. And we're going to dig this. And that'll close this off too, but that's fine. Or how feel like general tracks there are in this game it doesn't really get tiring annoying when it goes to... yeah because it's it allows for quiet between it only plays it occasionally which in most games it would get too quiet but it does have constant like background sounds just like environmental sounds like you hear the sounds of just uh pickaxes going and things being made so when the music kicks in it's just really nice the audience is listening. The audience. Oh, oh, wait, hold, hold. Tia, <laughs> Tia, what the heck? <laughs> hold on. Also, thank you very much for the subscription bar, and thank you for the full. A hundred and three people. That is so many people. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, hello. Hi. Um. Sorry. This is a. That that's a lot of people. I'm a little flustered. More than a little, actually. I'm quite flustered. Let me give you a shout out. <laughs> Let's just start there. Thank you so very, very much. How to make an owl panic 101. Yes, this owl is definitely panicking. <laughs> uh, you ended with just chatting. I, I did jump in and saw you were drawing. It looks really nice. Thank you so, so much. I... <laughs> oh, well, yeah. I need to get a new clip thingy because it keeps pulling old clips like really old clips and i don't want it to i just need to look into it because the last one i had also pulled old clips so i don't know which one other people are using uh any case hello my name is luna i'm as you can see i'm playing for fortress i like to play uh i'm a variety streamer i like to play strategy-esque games and whatever i find cute i tend to go for calm chill vibes and um I hope I'm not forgetting anything, because that that amount of people is getting me very flustered. 
and and thank you very very much for the follows um uh Eli the Red Panda and Murdoch I really appreciate it now you forgot something no Aeon no don't teach them how dare you gosh dang it Uh, yeah, we are, we hit the magma sea, uh, we had a demon pop up from an angry god, uh, and now we're getting our magma pumps ready. Um, and I will have to go on lunch break very, very soon, but not yet. And thank you very, very much for the follow, uh, I'll come on silver and kitty, uh, no, kitty, kitty Lee cat. It's not... There's an L there. We have someone that has a secret name, which means that they're usually like doing illegal things. We haven't interrogated this one, so interrogation time. They're suspicious. Um, now I've just been on here for almost five years, so there's a lot of clips. Ah, uh -huh. fair. Also, I'm not cute. Yeah, this is listening to so many people. I'm kind of scared. And thank you very much for the follow Absurd Scribbler. I really appreciate it. Hey, hey. <laughs> oh, you people know each other. It's, it's like. I always like seeing other people that I don't expect to see in, like, uh, people I've just found or people I went into raid with. It's like, hey, you're here too. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Okay, we almost got it set up. Now it should be good. Now we're first going to... We might have to pump uh, to um, turn this into uh, manual, or uh, not manual, the opposite manual. Like water made. Um, I need to go buzz at art on Twitter and then see about a snack and scrub off my bathroom because I ran out of time earlier. Have a good night, hon. Thank you very much for wait and take care. Um, yeah, have a have a good one. I really, really appreciate it. Okay, I feel really bad that I just got called for for lunch. My mom just came in like, "Hey, lunchtime." <laughs> when all these people just visited. <laughs> ah. Oh, that's not, a, that's not a very good timing. Also, I probably should put uh, crates over here because dwarves are definitely going to fall down. But I don't want to make them out of iron because we ran out of iron. This one is out of iron and we're not going to remove it because I'm afraid if we remove it, it'll just drop straight into the lava. Uh, but the other ones we need to make out of something that is not iron, I think. I'm not sure if they'll burn. Because it is a placed object if it's bars so it might be fine i guess we'll find out like either it's going to go horribly wrong or we'll be fine in which case we'll probably need to make floor grates um instead of bars and the grates you need to make in the shop first but we do have stone that is um magma safe um but let's make it out of nickel i guess It'll hopefully it'll have the same kind of color because I like the aesthetics and we have a lot of nickel, so nickel it is. It's definitely not magma safe though, that stuff's gonna melt. We're gonna we're gonna see if this works first, and then I'm gonna go lunch. But I'll be back after lunch. It'll it'll be a brief break. Um, let's first see how this goes. Maybe I should wait for letting them bump. Oh well. Okay, two people at their station. Three dwarves at their station. We need one more dwarf. I'm very nervous. Okay, they're bumping. They're bumping. It is working. We have magma. Nobody's dying. We are... Admittedly, getting it a little slow, but that's okay. It is working. 
our pump stack is working. And it doesn't seem anything is on fire. Why are you standing there? Uh, do not stand here. Of all the places, do not stand on the spot where it, there will be magma. Like, guys, please. <laughs> Nobody's dying at the moment of trying anything new. This is going to go so wrong. Why are you standing on the place where magma is going to be? I mean, nobody's on fire, so it's working. And I'm concerned. <laughs> okay, we're going to wait till this filled up, I guess. And then we're going to shut the thing off. I can't believe it's working. They're just chilling. Yeah, they're just chilling above like a, like a thin nickel floor bar crate. Uh, maybe they enjoyed it whilst magma is being actively pulled out. Like, it's literally moving past them. But somehow they're not burning. Okay, it seems we're very close to it being filled, so I'm gonna stop you pumping manually. And I'm gonna stop you pumping manually. And you and you. And you. If we want more, we can always get more. But now we know it works. Maybe it's like heating for them. I doubt it's very warm to an below ground. Actually, the lower you go, the warmer it gets. Like, surprisingly fast, it gets really hot underground. Um, like, at first it's like kind of cooler, but then it gets significantly hotter on your ground. <laughs> and with the amount of magma here, I'd say it's probably really toasty in my fortress, actually. Um, but yeah, now we tested that. After I'm back, we're going to remove all this and put in the magma uh, versions and, and use magma as our means of, of power. We will use it to make our make our stuff actually it, it'll be our fuel we'll have magma forge weapons and and armor and other fancy things but that is for after my lunch break um so i'm going to go uh, eat lunch i'll be back when the timer runs out in the meantime yeah, look at all these amazing people that followed and rated and subscribed and it's really really sweet of them and really kind and I'm sorry if I missed anyone saying hi because there was a lot of stuff um, but I really really appreciate it like I really do and I'm just very flustered because I'm not used to this many people um, yeah I'll be back when the timer runs out in the meantime there will be ads so people don't have to deal with pre-roll for a while after that we'll just continue with War Fortress and in the meantime Go have a nice lunch, go do some chores, stretch the leggies, whatever it is. Um, you had like 150 people. Don't scare me like that. I don't need... That's too many people. <laughs> um, yeah, thank you very, very much for stopping by. I hope to see you after, but if you can't stay, that's fully understandable. And I'll see you all in a bit. Bye bye.